If you can come back into the zone and Wally stop, get a good hit on him. I've said this for many, many years, and Paul and I were teammates a long time ago. Throughout his career, he put the fear of God in a lot of players. You knew that if he was coming in and you had the puck, you were going to get hit because that's just him. A man who has excelled in almost every hockey role possible, Paul Holmgren brought that toughness to every stage of his illustrious career. I remember watching him play. He played the game honestly and played in a real physical manner, but also was a productive player. It began in Minnesota, where he played forward for the St. Paul Vulcans, the University of Minnesota, and then the Minnesota Fighting Saints, before being drafted by the Flyers in 1975. Paul started in 75 and was a tough guy. Wow, well, Hunger coming over to say something to Hunger. But he was a competitor. He, he wanted to win all the time. Holmgren is coming in over the line with Pop back to Holmgren. He shoots it scores! Talking of a pretty play, that was the next one. As a sixth round draft selection, Holmgren began a career with the Flyers that has spanned more than 40 years. Try to jam it in. Get it, save. Holmgren scores! At the outset, he played more than 500 games in parts of nine seasons with Philadelphia. When I played against him, he was not only relentless, but he was tough and he was honest. Here we go, Dave Taylor and Paul Holmgren. He played the same way all the time, no matter what. Just never relented from his style of play. In 1980, Holmgren helped the Flyers to the Stanley Cup final and became the first American-born player in NHL history to record a hat trick in the Stanley Cup final. Linsman to Holmgren, scores! Paul Holmgren has the hat trick! The following year, Holmgren earned a spot in the NHL All-Star game and was the lone American on the Campbell Conference entry. Number 17, right winger Paul Holmgren. Traded home to the Minnesota North Stars in 1984, the St. Paul native played 27 games before retiring at the end of his 10th NHL season. Talk about the ultimate competitor. His passion and his competitiveness for the sport resonated with people. After retiring, Holmgren returned to the Flyers as an assistant coach, becoming the first former player in team history to be named head coach in 1988. We're watching Paul Holmgren look up and down his bench, scanning, trying to decide who to put out next. Holmgren led the team to the conference finals in his first season. The Flyers move on into the Stanley Cup semifinals. After a four-year stint with the Hartford Whalers, Holmgren returned to the Flyers as a scout in 1995 and over the next decade was promoted up to assistant GM. He was a big reason and a big factor in bringing me over from the Avalanche. Keith Jones is a new addition. Well, from Colorado Avalanche, he's a perfect fit. He was actually at the last game that I played for Colorado and kind of gave the final sign-off to go ahead and make the trades. He was named the team's general manager in 2006. When I got drafted, I remember shaking his hand and it could be uh, intimidating. He's a, big, uh, he's a big man and knowing that he's been, I played for the Flyers and head coach and uh, all the positions he's had. You kind of respect the man he's been, and he's been a huge part of this organization through uh, hard times and good times. As GM, Holmgren led the Flyers through one of the most successful stretches in franchise history with six playoff appearances. The Philadelphia Flyers return to the Stanley Cup final for the first time since 97. Holmgren was elevated to team president in 2014 overseeing both business and hockey operations, becoming the only person ever to serve as player, assistant coach, head coach, general manager, and president of the Flyers. A lot of players would love to do that after they're done the playing and kind of shows what kind of man he is to have all those positions and having the opportunity to be a head coach and then a GM to that, then the president. You, you need to be a good person and uh, to kind of get along with everyone and uh, it's pretty impressive for him to, uh, to be able to do all that. Beyond the city of brotherly love, Holmgren was a member of Team USA in the inaugural World Juniors in 1974. More than two decades later, as an assistant coach with Team USA, he helped guide them to the World Cup of Hockey Championship in 1996. Team USA has won the World Cup. 
GM of the U.S. men's national and Olympic teams in 2006, Holmgren became a founding member of the U.S. men's national team advisory group in 2007, helping select the national teams. Despite how competitive he was and how demanding he was, he had this ability to relate to people and to communicate with people. So there became a love affair that way, and he never stopped. 